If you hate speculum exams, this video is for you. Let's be real, nobody likes or enjoys a speculum exam, but they're really important for your health. They help us to visualize and access the cervix for pap smears, saline sonograms, and even for fertility procedures like IUI or embryo transfers but they can feel awkward, they can be uncomfortable, and even feel stressful. So I wanna share a helpful hack that I think works for most patients who need help when it comes to speculum exams, but I never hear anyone sharing this hack or talking about it, so I wanted to share here. When we feel stressed or apprehensive, our muscles naturally tense up, especially the muscles of our pelvic floor. And when those muscles are tight, the exam can feel more uncomfortable than it needs to be. It's also really hard for someone to not wanna kick the person doing the exam down there in the face when they keep telling you, relax, relax over and over. Clearly it's easier said than done, especially when you're in that super vulnerable position on the table. So how do you stop your body from naturally just clenching up in the middle of something that you'd rather not be doing? Well, I've actually got a trick for you and I think it works really well. And it's actually hiding at the other end of your body, nowhere near your pelvis. So here it is, wiggle your toes. Yes, really, wiggling your toes during a speculum exam can do a few things. First off, it can provide a distraction. It can shift your brain's focus away from what's happening around your pelvic area. And instead of bracing for discomfort, your mind gets busy telling your toes to move instead. It can also help you relax because this tiny movement helps your pelvic muscles to get distracted and let go of that tension. And that can make insertion of the speculum smoother and it can make the whole experience less uncomfortable. This is a well-known fact. There's a mind-body connection and moving a different part of your body can send a signal to your brain that you're safe, present, and in control. But it's not the only tip that I have to make speculum exams easier. I think deep belly breathing can really help. So I always tell patients, inhale slowly, let your belly rise, and then exhale fully. And this helps your nervous system to switch from fight or flight mode to being more relaxed. It's also really important to communicate with the person doing the exam that something hurts or feels off. They can try using a smaller speculum. Not all speculums are created equal. I tend to favor starting with a really skinny one and there's different lengths. There's some that are longer and shorter. So your doctor who knows your body can definitely try a different size speculum using lube or adjusting their technique overall. If you have a known condition like vaginismus, vaginal atrophy, or even a history of trauma, all of this can make exams more challenging and more painful. So let your doctor know ahead of time and this allows them to be more intentional and aware of any sensitivities. It's important to work with a doctor that you can trust who explains what they're doing and is constantly communicating and making sure that you're comfortable every step of the way. So next time you're faced with getting a speculum exam, remember it does not have to feel like torture. Wiggle your toes, distract your brain, take a deep breath, speak up for yourself and prioritize your comfort and remind yourself that you're the one in control. And sometimes the best way to relax your pelvis starts at your feet.